The number one thing I learned is that you get used to money, you habituate to money, but your appetites never stop growing. And here's how I saw it manifest in one part of my life. When I started snow skiing for the first time, I was in graduate school in New England, which sounds totally douchey. I get that, I know that. But... I borrowed like $150,000 for the right to do it, but anyway. So I started snow skiing at these small local hills in New England where it was like four degrees and the snow was icy and half the skiers are wearing jeans, all right? Not sexy, but I'm skiing. And I'm like, this is great. I've always wanted to snow ski. And it was great. Until a couple years later, I took my family to a place called Deer Valley. And I was like, ah, oh, now this is more like it. Big mountains, fluffy powder, blue skies, you know, five-star dining. There's a St. Regis. And I was like, Deer Valley is where it's at. This is the best. Until another couple years later, a friend of mine invited me for a long weekend at a place called the Yellowstone Club. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah. It's like Brigadoon for billionaires, this place, you know? I never even imagined there could be a place like this. Private skiing, private powder, right? No jerk with an Amex Platinum card can get in here, okay? <laughs> You know, free food on the mountain. Who are the members? Phil Mickelson, Justin Timberlake, you know, Bill Gates. And I remember riding up on the lift with my friend and I looked at him and I said, you know, Deer Valley is a shithole. <laughs> I'm never going back to that place again. This place, I belong here. This is where I should be. This is, you know, at lunch, at lunch, I heard a woman say to her son, no dessert until you finish your sushi. I heard that. I heard that. You don't hear that in Shambly in 1979, so you don't. That's not some shit my parents laid on me. It's like, when we grew up on bologna powdered milk, our dog was fed gravy train because he was a dog, all right? That's... I was like, I belong here at Yellowstone Club, I said to my friend. I was like, how many Delta Sky Miles do I need to get into this place? And he was like, you're asking the wrong questions. He's like, Paul, you should be happy. You just built a new house in Cashers. And I was like, Cashers is for poor people. This is where I belong. There's no skiing at Cashers. And he's like, well, isn't there? It's like, no, that's not real skiing. I'm done with that shit, skiing in jeans. <laughs> Is Melinda Gates single still? I need to know that. What do I have to do?